This video demonstrates deployment of a giant PALMOS stent for a type 1A endoleak for an abdominal aortic aneurysm status post-endovascular repair. This is a female patient with an asymptomatic 5 centimeter aneurysm. After retreating the proximal seal zone with an aortic balloon in an attempt to remedy the type 1A endoleak, we decided to deploy a PALMOS stent to increase radial force at the proximal seal zone. We first prepped the stent over the dilator of a large sheath. We then positioned the stent over our aortic balloon near the inferior fiduciary from a transdermal approach. The stent is then crimped by hand. Prior to mounting the balloon on the wire, it's important to ensure the sheath will be positioned above the proximal seal zone. After positioning the sheath above the proximal seal zone, the balloon and stent are loaded onto the wire and advanced under fluoroscopic guidance. With our stent in adequate position, we then withdraw the sheath part way and partially deploy the stent. This was described by the Oshner Group in a JVS article in 2008, which decreased the incidence of stent migration. After the proximal end of the stent is deployed, the balloon is taken down, the sheath is retracted, fully revealing the stent, and then deployment is completed. The balloon is removed under fluoroscopic guidance and a flush catheter is re-advanced. No further type 1A endoleak was appreciated on completion aortogram. Thank you for watching this video on deployment of a giant PALMOS stent for a type 1A endoleak.